everybody. Mrs. Bart's here with a couple of my girls. We've got Evelyn and Emma, who's gonna be helping us with our video today. We are going to make a fish in a fish bowl. So first, do we need to gather up our supplies? We're gonna need a white piece of paper or two, if you're using a permanent marker, and tell them what else we need, Emma. Crowns and water paint. Crowns and watercolor paint. And if you don't have watercolor paint, you could use regular water with a couple of drops of blue food coloring, or you can just color it in with your crayons or a marker when we get to that point. Okay, we're gonna start with our fish bowl, and we're gonna start with the top of the fish bowl. So I'm gonna move up to the top of my paper, and we're gonna do a long, skinny, sideways oval. Okay. Then I'm gonna do a bigger oval that goes around it. Emma, let's do yours a smaller oval inside since that one's really big. So can you do the same thing but on the inside and I'm gonna do the same thing but on the outside. Very good. Now we're gonna do a big circle that's going to connect to the top of the fishbowl for the globe itself. So it's gonna be very big down around and back up to connect on this side. Good. We're gonna do a little base for the bottom of the fishbowl. So we're gonna circle around down here, over, and back up. Now we're gonna draw the fish in the middle of the fishbowl. So we're gonna do an oval, another sideways oval. This one's not so skinny. Okay. We're gonna scooch over to do the fish tail. So I'm gonna draw a curved line, sort of like a really stretched out C over here. And then I'm gonna connect from the top down to the fish's body. And from the bottom up to the fish's body. Okay. We're gonna do the top of the fin. <laughs> We're gonna do the top of the fin with the line that goes up and then back down like a triangle. Okay, we're gonna draw a curved line to separate the face from the fish's body. So I'm gonna come up here, draw a line all the way down. Okay, we're gonna add a fin inside the fish's body. So that's just gonna be a triangle. Very good. And then we're gonna show that there's a fin on the other side that's kind of peeking through. So I'm gonna do a little V at the bottom. Good. We're gonna add our fish's eye. So I'm gonna draw a big circle inside the face. I wanna make it cute. So I'm gonna add the little highlights, a big circle at the top and a little one at the bottom. We're gonna color in the big circle, but they'll leave the two little ones white. All right. Next up, we're going to add a mouth to our fish, and you can do this however you feel like. I'm gonna make mine sort of um, sticking out here. I'm gonna do a little, two little bumps. I'm gonna do it like that. And you're just gonna do a cute little smile, good. All right, we're gonna move on now and show that there is water in the fish bowl. So at the top above our fish, we're gonna do a wavy line that curves up, 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 all the way across. And then we wanna show some bubbles coming out of our fish's mouth. So we're just gonna do a few that are near the mouth or maybe a little above it. Good. And then we're gonna draw some sand on the bottom. So we're just gonna do sort of a bumpy line along the bottom of our fish bowl. We're gonna add a little coral so this is just gonna be kind of a bumpy shape here, an organic shape. Good, Em. And we're gonna add some seaweed or other plants on the bottom. So I'm just gonna do some lines that go up and down, up and down. They can be different heights, up and down. And I'm gonna put lines that go right down the middle. Okay. 
If you wanted to add any other decorations inside your fish with your marker, now's the time. Okay, and we are ready to color. We are gonna use crayons and we're gonna color in the fish, the sand, the plants and coral. I'm even gonna color my bubbles white. Um, but then we're gonna move over to watercolor paint to, color, to paint the water. And like I said earlier, a f art teacher friend of mine had mentioned that you can use water with a couple drops of food coloring. It won't take much. Or you could just color the water in if you don't have that option. in a bowl too, don't you sis? Goldfish, thank you for joining us and I really hope to see your pictures in the comments.